My name is Patrick Kwesiga. I'm the mental health and well-being lead here at Health Exchange. I'm a member of the British Association for Counseling and Psychotherapy and in my other uh, community role I work as a volunteer um, social psychotherapist that is uh, bringing communities and people uh, to optimize their emotional and social uh, well-being. My topic today is uh, friendship or friends. I'll start by reciting a simple poem written by Jean Kayla McManus. In this uh, simple poem, which is titled Friendship, Jean writes, A friend is someone we turn to when our spirits need a lift. A friend is someone we treasure, for our friendship is a gift. A friend is someone who fills our lives with beauty, joy, and grace and makes the whole world we live in a better and happier place. The above simple poem brings out what we expect from a friend and what we should give to a friend. Each line makes life a life with friendship, friendlier to live. It is no surprise then that when in 2008 New Economics Foundation, that is NEF, was commissioned by the UK government's foresight project on mental capacity and well-being to review the interdisciplinary work of over 400 scientists from across the world. It identified connection as one of the five top tips to maintain mental and emotional well-being. Connecting with people around you, that is family, friends, colleagues and neighbors, I mean at home, work, school, or in your local community optimizes your emotional and social health. Think of this as the cornerstone of your life. Uh, that is the aspects I've read above, uh, school, community, work, and people around you. And invest time in developing them. Building these connections will support and enrich you every day of your life. All these connections form your social umbrella of friends, or in a more social emotional term or technical word, friendship. This contributes greatly to positive 